Hello, my name is Julie Kontek and I'm a program manager in continuing education. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my family's recipes. It's a Swedish bacon pancake. It's super delicious, it's really easy to make, and best of all, it's done in about 30 minutes. Um, so let's just jump right in. First things first, we're going to get the oven preheated to 425. Now the full recipe and details and instructions are listed in the description of this video for your reference. So while the oven is preheating, the next step is to get some um, good quality bacon. You can pick whatever you want. I prefer thick cut, um, but really any bacon will do as long as it's real bacon. Uh, you're going to need this lovely fat here for the pan. You're going to cut it up into strips and put it in a 9 by 12 baking dish. So you just cut it into pieces like this. Don't need to be too precise. And then separate them. And put them in the bottom of this pan. So now that you've got about six to eight strips, just depending on how much bacon you like and um, just kind of the thickness of the bacon that you've picked. Uh, you just sort of spread it out here. Doesn't need to be fancy, but try to get them, get the pieces kind of separated and spread on the bottom. Then what you're gonna do is take this and put it in the oven. So while your bacon is cooking in the oven, you can get your other ingredients together. Um, so what we have here are three eggs, two cups of milk, a cup of flour, a tablespoon, um, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, and then I always like to add just a little bit of vanilla extract because I like it. You don't have to put these in in any order. You can just dump them in. Get a nice whisk and put it all together. So our bacon has been in the oven for about 10 minutes now. Um, it took a little bit longer just because I like it a little extra crispy and I put some extra bacon in there. So what you're going to do is you open the oven, pull out your pan, and just pour this batter right on top. Put it back in the oven. And this is gonna cook for 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, this will be all done and ready to serve. I typically just cut it up into squares and pour some maple syrup on the top. It's gonna end up being a lot more like those Dutch apple pancakes that you get at some breakfast restaurants, um, except that instead of apples on the inside, it has bacon. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you tried this recipe. I hope that you're enjoying your time at home with your family. And thank you so much for supporting continuing education.